Well, I'm here as an elder. And the reason is, we elders, elders have a very special place. Because we're past worrying about, oh, am I going to get a job? Am I going to get a raise or a promotion? Those things, you know, the, the drive for more uh, fame or power or money, those are long past. Well, there are a few old people that still want that, but they're, they need help. They've got problems. <laughs> Elders are beyond that. And so that means we can speak the truth from our hearts. And if someone is offended by what we say, that's their problem, not mine. In the daily, in, in, as you see in daily news reports, as you saw in Ian's film, and we see around the world that we are at an absolutely critical moment in all of human history. What we do or do not do in the next few years, I believe, will determine whether we as a species survive the next century. Now that's a pretty melodramatic statement to, to make. But that's not me that's saying that. That's what my colleagues in science are telling us. Sir Martin Rees, one of the most eminent scientists in the United Kingdom, the Royal Astronomer in the UK, was asked on the BBC, what are the chances that humans will survive to the 22nd century, to the end of this century? And his answer was 50-50. It was the end of the last ice age. As the ice retreated, then animals and plants, of course, took advantage of what was being freed up and gradually moved in. And as the animals and plants established themselves, so did human beings. Everywhere we went, we were an invasive species. We came into new territory. You know, we, when you look back at our origins, human beings were born as a species back in Africa 150,000 years ago. That was our birthplace. And then, parenthetically, every time I keep thinking, I want those Ku Klux Klaners to invite me to give them a speech. Because I'll tell them, we're all Africans. That's where we were born. What the hell is your problem? <laughs> Africa was our birthplace. Africa was our third place in our home, but as we began to move out, we don't know why humans moved out, probably they began to deplete their resources, probably some young guys wanted to seek adventure or check out the Neanderthal chicks that were over the mountain, because we did apparently breed with, inter with Neanderthals, and, uh, but gradually we moved, but as we moved into new territories, we were an invasive species. We had no idea what the hell was going on, except that there was a lot more. There were animals and plants there that we could use. And even with the simplest of tools, stone axes and spears and clubs, we exterminated some of the big, slow-moving animals or the flightless birds. You can trace the movement of people across the earth by the extinction of animals that followed where we went. So we were a very powerful animal, but as we began to extinguish the, the easily caught things, at some point, people began to realize, hey, wait, we're running out of those birds or those mammals. Well, what the hell do we do now? Some people said, let's get out of here and move. But people said, no, this is, this is where we live, and they stayed. And over time, they had to learn to live with what they had. The human beings have become a force on Earth as has never existed in the history of life on the planet. We are now altering the biological and physical properties of the planet on a geological scale. We are changing the chemistry of the atmosphere, altering the, the pH of the oceans, denuding the planet of plants and animals. And that's why scientists call this the Anthropocene Epoch. The Anthropocene, meaning the age of human beings, when we are the major geological force. And it's come about through this amazing conjunction, the sudden explosion of a number of factors. First of all, population. I was born in 1936, when there were just over 2 
billion people. Can you imagine in my lifetime, the population of the planet has more than tripled. The population is just skyrocketing. We are now the most numerous mammal on the planet. There are more of us than any species of mouse or rat or rabbit. And every one of us has to be fed, clothed, and sheltered. And all of what we use to feed, clothe, and shelter us comes from Mother Earth. 